right. I forgot to check the battery life, so I think it will be wise if we do just one more quest. Okie dokie. Let's go. One more quest. Let's do... Cold stones. Deliver eight blood stones. Easy, just mine. And there's a danger sign, so we got another boss to deal with. I tell ya, the tundra is really something. It's like the final frontier of excav excavation. Diggers like me wouldn't last five minutes out in the cold, though, so I'm counting on you. Nab me eight bloodstones, Hunter. Simple mining quest. Just me, the rocks, and that unexpected guest. Okie dokie. Okay, a mining we will go. I'm pretty sure I made that joke before. If any of you, you'll probably notice this, but area two looks really bright at night. And I think that means it's cold. I think it's slightly colder at night. But I'm not entirely sure. Okay. Um. Mining spot. Isisium. Isisium. Bloodstone. It's one out of eight. Two out of eight. Mining spots, mining spots. Okay. Get away from me, Giggies. You creep me out. Giggies are cute, in my opinion, but... They're also kind of creepy. Chacha, hold them off for me. Really, where are the bloodstones? Oh, it's three. Let's see if there are any more in area five. Let's go to area four. So we got three bloodstones and we need only 
five more. There's always something in this cavern. I remember back in the days of Monster Hunter Tri. There was this cave was pitch black and you had to use a torch in order to see. And whenever you used a torch, the red glow would reflect off of the walls and everything. And the cave always looked so warm with the red glow. But now I can see how truly cold this place looks. Doesn't look inviting at all. How many bloodstones do we have? Oh, Six. I need two more. Okay, let's go back to area 5 and we'll see if there's anything in area 6 we can use. Oh! There's one. Hardly spotted. Almost didn't spot that. Get away from me. Wow, these rocks are really well camouflaged. Just need two more bloodstones. Two more. That's all I ask. This game doesn't like me. <laughs> Good thing I had the foresight to bring mega pickaxes. But honestly, all I'm getting are earth crystals. Oh! One bloodstone. Still need one more bloodstone. Today, great day for cookout cha. I'll give you that, cha cha. Anything in here? Out here? Okay, where are the bloodstones? Come on, I just need one more. Just one. <laughs> oh, is that a rock? Yes, it is. Oh, there's the last bloodstone. Honestly, but I think I've got enough. Uh, I think I've got enough earth crystals to last me a lifetime. I love the tundra at night. It looks absolutely beautiful. And the boss didn't even show up. So. Just smooth sailing. Oh, look, hello, Giggies. 
Yeah, giggies are really abundant in the tundra. Like, really abundant. Ah. Uh, sweet, sweet success. Look at that beautiful moon up there. I think if I had to pick an area to be my favorite in this game, the tundra would definitely be it. It's just so beautiful. That and I really like the cold, so... Ice is seen Mega Pickaxe. Inspired Jewel, Aquilo Jewel, Iron Pickaxe, Aquilo Jewel, Iron Pickaxe. Wow, it's paying me in pickaxes. Alright, so that was fun. As promised, that was the last quest. Um, what's this all about? Okay, after I put away my items and talk to the villagers, uh, I'll be on my way. Okay, now what's going on? I don't like the look of this. Already? You are not making me feel any better about this. Um, okay, so looks like the Legiacris is here, and we're going to have to fight it, so we won't do that until next time, though, viewers, so farewell and many great goodbyes. This has been Cottonmouth255, the Spore of Serpent, and Cha-Cha the Shakalaka with a head that looks like a giant ham. And both of us will see you all next time for more Monster Hunter Tri-Ultimate. Good, good hunting, everyone.